Hey friends, I've tested the brand new Firebase Studio against Lovable, Bolt, and V0 to build the same app, a video summarizer powered by NA10. This is what the winning tool build in just three prompts. A very nice video summarizer with tabs, a very nice design, and you can download the workflow and the full code just down below. Here's the plan. I've built the same app in each tool with the same exact prompt. You'll see the step-by-step -step result, how each tool solves problems and where they fall short. We'll compare them on message count, ease of use, final design and standard features, and of course, pricing. Let's dive in. So here is the workflow and the initial prompt. So we begin with the web hook and we send back the response with the respond hook and this is the final structure, okay? So this is the prompt, create a video summarizer. The input should be a video URL and the output a summary and key takeaways. The input will send the URL to a NA10 workflow through a webhook and name it video URL. NA10 will return the summary and key takeaways that will be displayed in the app front end. The design should be dark mode and very sleek. This is the webhook URL, and this is the output structure returned by the NA10 respond webhook. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go in the first tool into Firebase Studio. Now we are in Firebase, and unfortunately, as you can see, it didn't succeed. So here is the prompt. One I think you give a blueprint app a nicely laid out and style guidelines and layout. But I'm afraid that, you know, in this plan, it doesn't talk about the structure of the data that is sent back. And when we have that, we click prototype this app. It puts the file changes, but it doesn't comment what is doing. Okay. It failed. So. I send a new message, the summarization fail, please fix it. This is the output from the response hook from NA10. Please adapt this to this schema. And I copy here the output. It's full of typos, but normally this doesn't really matter. And here, okay, change files, but it didn't comment that. And again, we try it. I add an error and I send the image, it changed files and then we add this error, the final error. I tried again and again, the same error. So it doesn't comment anything of what it's doing. It just shows a file that is changing. So in my opinion, you need to go into the code to see what is wrong or right, but it doesn't do the job with just prompts. What are the nice features? It's that you can go into the code. Okay. And here. You have a sort of cursor inside Firebase. You can use Gemini to enter your prompt like you will do in cursor. Another nice feature in Firebase Studio is this one. Certainly the most interesting. You have a sort of Excalibur inside the editor. So you can say here, I want another button and design it and do things like that. So that's very nice, but if it doesn't work, that's annoying. Then we have this button so we can prompt here what we want. That's also very nice. In terms of design, it's quite basic. And in terms of pricing, it's free. So this is a very good point, but I think this is not ready to be at the level of the other apps that we're going to explore now. Now we are in Bolt and Bolt succeed. This is the design, not bad, but not as good as our winner. I send the first message. He answer this, so he give a more detailed response that in Firebase. Okay. Then it failed. I send the same message. Okay. To fix the structure. I said it is the issue, maybe how we're handling the response data and displaying the key takeaways. Okay, so we comment what he's doing. Change the key takeaway display. Yes, he focus a bit too much into improving the design while we have functionality failing. Okay, so it failed again. 
nothing is happening and he was not displaying a message. Simply I sent the video summary and nothing happened. Okay, he want to fix it. Had a better error handling debug section. Here he had debugging, but what we want is to fix the error. And uh, I tried it two times and the next time he failed though. So he doesn't always succeed. And I noticed that he was focusing too much into displaying the error. It's nice that you display them, but if you don't fix them, that will not work. Okay. Had it validation, improved error message, type checking. Okay. So it failed again. So I copy it. He sees the issue and here he has updated the summary response, removed the array wrapping. So here he has done the things to fix it and then it works. So this is four matches is the first one. The second one where we really describe what we think is the error and what should be the structure. And then a new one where he passed time putting the error handling and the displaying the errors, but not fixing actually the problem. So this thing, he should have done it in the first message. So now he's losing time here. And so it failed again. And so third message. So it took four messages to get it working. In terms of features in Bolt, we can connect to Superbase. We can download the code or open in stack bleeds here. And if we are in stack bleeds, we can work directly in code and we can create a repository. We can go back and forth between no code and code. Here we can also enhance our prompts with these uh, little stars and we have a discussion mode. In terms of pricing, these are the plans. I'm on the free plans and I see I still have a lot of tokens. The pro plan at $20 a month give 10 million tokens. So there is a large free plan, which is nice. And, but then I don't know exactly what it means, 10 million tokens. So we have to investigate into that. So not a bad work, but it focused too much on the error handling instead of solving immediately the problems and the design is better in the other application. Let's go to the next one. Now we are into V0 and V0 succeed. Okay. The design is okay, but not as good as our winner. Now let's dive into the message. So I sent the first message, then he explained very well what he's doing. There's a design, he explains the functionality. It explains the user experience. He has a loading skeleton and he explained how to use the application. So good explanation, but it failed. So I sent the same message to reinforce what is the structure of the output that would be re received from NA10. He explained how he's fixing it. Okay. Again, he put here the error handling and debugging. It failed again. So I sent the screenshot and this time it fixed it. It took three messages to fix it. So really not bad, to be honest. Now, what are the additional features of V0? So we have a lot of integrations here. We have Superbase, but we have also Neon Database, Upstash and Blob. We can deploy directly to Vercel in one click. We can download the code and we can also improve the prompt. We can select here and send messages here. So, and this is the pricing. I'm on the free plan, but it doesn't say how many message or token, or you have also a daily and monthly message limits, but it's not explained here. So we have to research about that. The premium plan is $20 a month and we have 20, 10 to 20 more messages than free, but as we don't know how much we have as free message, that doesn't help and we don't have monthly message limits and we can also import from Figma here and then we have the Ultra at $200 a month. And now we are in Lovable, which is our winner, as you have guessed it. I enter the first prompt and it explains what it's going to do and then it implemented. As you can see, he already implements the error handling, so we don't have to ask him things and lose time implementing that. 
then he explained what he has created and he tell us what we could do next. Then there was a small error, but that Loveable showed directly without us having to ask and we just have to click to fix it. And this doesn't count in the monthly or daily limit of messages that we have in our plan because Lovable work with a limit of message, not by token. Okay, so it fixed it and then it failed again. I tried it here and it failed. And I sent the same message that to the other application to really explain what is the structure that we receive from the response hook from NA10. And then it check, it find what is wrong, it explain it very clearly, very well, and it fix it. So basically in two messages, this was built, well, three prompts because there is one message that come from lovable, but doesn't count in the plan. So a very, very good result. The design, design is amazing and what is working, it show also loading indicators and the skeleton really well done. So very, very good result. So now let's see what other features we get with Lovable. So we can connect also with Superbase. We have a code viewer and here, if you are in a pet plan, you can modify the code directly. We can push it to sync it to Git and this is very good because then you clone the repo on your computer and you can work from there and go back and forth between Lovable and between the code so you don't spend so much, so much messages. We can also attach images and we can edit like that so we can choose for example here and we can change the text directly here. We can change the styles. We have access to the Tailwind CSS classes and we see the result directly. And we can change the color. Okay. And we can directly change the CSS uh, Tailwind classes here. And if we click here, we can attach a knowledge for the project, which would be very efficient when we begin a project. We can attach a domain name. We can deploy, publish in one click, and then it's published on Netlify. In terms of pricing, Lovable work with messages. So in the free plan, it's not show here, but I know it well because it's Lovable that I use. You have five messages a day and a maximum of 30 messages a month. Then on the starter plan for $20 a month, you have everything in free plus 100 messages a month. And for that, you don't have a daily limit. But on top of that, you have the five free messages. So it's a total of 130 messages a month with a limit of five free messages a day. Okay, so then we have the $50 plan, which has 2.5 monthly limit to and two, so 250 message a month plus the free one, etc. And everything works like that. So that's why in Lovable is very important if you can spare a message, for example, never send a message to change the button color because you can easily do it in code or with the edit mode, which doesn't cost message. But I will do a full video about Lovable and how to use it in the smartest way possible to save message, but it's definitely my favorite app. To recap, Firebase Studio didn't succeed at all. Bolt succeed after four messages and was spinning around, you know, error ending, etc. And I try it another time and it failed. V0 succeed in three prompts and lovable in two and one error that it fix itself. So the winner on functionality and ease of use, it's clearly lovable. In terms of design, in my opinion, lovable as the best followed by V0 and followed by Bolt. 
Firebase Studio did a very basic design. Again, the winner is lovable and the order of winners is the same that for the ease of use. In terms of additional features, I have to say that Firebase Studio has a really nice one, especially the one where you can design directly in the code and to be able also to prompt with Gemini in the code editor is really nice. And in Bolt and V0, they have nice features too, but not additional exceptional ones. And V0 has more integration than Bolt. Lovable has really nice ones at the edit ones, the fact that you can have a knowledge base. So it's again for me a winner, but Firebase Studio has really interesting features. I hope that they will progress and make it really usable and that they will improve the design. In terms of pricing, their Firebase Studio is a winner because is totally free. Lovable is the most expensive, I think, but you have way to spare money. But in my opinion, the ease of use and efficiency of building an app is much more important. It's followed by V0 and Bolt. We don't know exactly what are the limits, so we have to investigate into that. So in conclusion, Lovable is a winner, so expect more videos from me about Lovable with NA10. And of course, if you need my help to create an application, to explore your business, to create a workflow or whatever, you can book a free consultation here down below. And if you like my content, please subscribe, like, share, comment, do everything to please the YouTube algorithm and it will help me to produce more content to help you. So see you in the next one. Bye.